today on Getting Real with the Housewives. Kyle Richards reveals where she stands with her castmates and responds to Paris Hilton slamming Mauricio. Plus, we actually caught up with Mauricio, who reacted to the nonstop dating rumors. The speculation that's out there is annoying because so much of the speculation is just wrong. Plus, Larsa and Marcus are over. There's a shakeup in the Atlanta cast, and Nene Leakes calls out Portia Williams. We got that plus so much more on today's Getting Real with the Housewives. Hey everyone, it's Christina, and welcome to Getting Real with the Housewives. We have so much news to get to this week. We got makeups, we got breakups, we got Andy Cohen we weighing in on royal news. We have it all covered, but before we get into it, let's see what you have to say about last week's show. One user said, I think it is definitely time for a Beverly Hills recast. Nothing interesting to see here. Grown women dismissing each other, lying and throwing shade. It gets very old. Time to go, ladies. Another user, Laura, says Kyle wants to collect a paycheck, but can't understand why people want to know what's going on with her. I say it's time for her to leave. Our comments were flooded um, with a lot of people saying the exact same thing, that they think it's time for maybe Kyle to move on, since she wasn't very forthcoming in the season three reunion, when she said it was really nobody's business, what's going on with she and Mauricio. So we'll see what happens um, as uh, this goes forward. Okay, but some more Kyle news. She's actually weighing in on all this drama that was happening between Paris, her niece, and her husband, Mauricio. So while participating in an Amazon Live, Kyle said she has not spoken to Paris about her recent social media comments about Mauricio and his show, Buying Beverly Hills. Kyle said she spoke to her cousins and they cleared all that up. I really was just like, no, please, no more. I can't handle any more things. As we know, Paris, um, earlier this month, Netflix revealed a preview of the reality show's second season starring Mauricio and his daughters, Alexia, Sophia, and Farah. Now, in the clip, Mauricio opened up about his fallout with his brother-in-law and Paris's dad, Rick Hilton. So as for things with Mauricio, Kyle said that they speak every day um, because they actually live together. And whether or not they would get back together, she said, that's a big question. That's too big of a question to answer. And you know, I don't know. That's way too loaded. Now, a source tells Us Weekly in the latest issue of the magazine that Kyle is still navigating her feelings and is confused in regards to Morgan Wade. She said she really cares about Morgan and there's a strong connection. Kyle was excited to have these feelings after losing connection with Mauricio in their marriage. Both Mauricio and Kyle are deeply hurt. Mauricio respects Kyle for not tarnishing her name um, or speaking out about the details. He says there was no affair, but does take responsibility for making Kyle lose all trust in the marriage. Lots to take in there, but I recently caught up with Mauricio and his children, who had this to say about the status of his relationship and why dealing with those dating rumors is the hardest part about the split. Take a look. That's the hardest part about it, for sure. I mean, to not have any sort of privacy and to just be, you know, everybody's so interested. And quite honestly, the speculation that's out there is annoying because so much of the speculation is just wrong. Um, and to be reading that and, you know, for my kids to read some of that speculation and some of the stuff, you know, for Portia, it's just annoying because it's just flat out wrong. I mean, I can tell you I've been reached out by multiple um, uh, news sources and I've actually, you know, in some cases denied what they were going to write on and they've actually said, oh, that's not interesting. We're just going to write what we're going to write. Um, and that to me is even more annoying. When you actually reach out, you actually get the real answer and then you just write whatever you're going to write. I mean, that's that's just not cool. Wherever the future is, the fu I mean, I, we don't know where the future is at this point. We're just allowing things to happen um, and, um, and just move forward. But uh, I definitely agree with that. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, it's made, you know, in some cases, and you'll watch it on the show, it's gotten me a lot closer to my daughters because we've been much more open, much more real, much more truthful about certain more difficult topics to talk about. Um, and so it's actually made us even closer. So that's kind of nice. I don't know. I mean, I know everybody is hopeful that they get back together. I just don't see it at this point. It seems like based on what Mauricio said to me, he said, you know, that they are two totally separate people from when they entered their marriage almost 30 years ago. It seems like they are kind of finally finding their footing on their own. I would just love some concrete answers. I feel like we're kind of dragging this out for so long. And yes, I know it takes time to figure out um, if you want to end a marriage after almost 30 years, but it just seems like this limbo stage is kind of strange for all of us. I'm sure especially them since they live together. Kyle also gave an update on where she stands with the women following the Beverly Hills reunion. She said on that Amazon Live of Dorit, I know a lot of you guys want 
wanted to know where we stand right now, and I actually haven't. We haven't spoken at all, she said, but I have always supported Dorit since she joined the show. She said, I've always stood up for her, but I really felt very hurt by, you know, what happened at the reunion. I felt hurt by things that were said in the season. And then at the reunion, the text being read was very hurtful to me. She said that I was being manipulative and it was actually the complete opposite. I was actually being very forthright. As for she and Sutton, she said that they're good and she said that they met up, they had dinner, they talked, they laughed, and they both just want to put this behind them. She said, I'm always happy to do that. I don't know, maybe not really super surprising that she and Dorit haven't spoken. They were kind of on the outs um, during the course of this season. And after that text message was read, I can't imagine that Kyle was going to be very trusting in Dorit when it comes to anything going on with her personal life. So maybe they just both needed to take a beat after this past season. Well, it appears to be officially over for Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan. TMZ reported that they are unlikely to rekindle their romance this time around after their brief split last month and that the two are not on speaking terms. I don't know if anybody's particularly surprised about this. Even though she did, she was here in January and she said that they were very much in love she was planning on maybe starting a family with him in the future. I'm not really sure exactly what went wrong, but they have unfollowed each other on social media again. So you know that that is a sign when Lars is mad, she will unfollow you. And it seems like that's what happened. Hopefully they are both okay. This was a very serious relationship, you know, very uh, immersed in each other's families. But I wonder what Michael Jordan thinks about this one. All right. Well, the Real Housewives of Potomac cast season eight reunion looks have been unveiled. And I have to say, this is the best they have ever looked, you know. As we know, some other Housewives franchises, they don't particularly coordinate, but this one, they coordinated on their color and they got it right. So season seven saw them getting dolled up in blue and they matched in shades of pink for season six, but they kind of, they caught heat for their outfits both years with some fans dubbing them the worst dressed cast. Well, it appears the ladies have internalized that feedback and they showcase the efforts this season with Giselle, Ashley, Candace, Robin, Karen, Wendy, Mia, and NECA bringing their fashion A game in all black getups. Bravo released the images and I agree, this is the best they have ever looked. Excited for this reunion. It's gonna be a fiery one as usual. But let me know in the comments who you think is the best dress. Sonia Richards Ross is leaving Atlanta after just two seasons on the Bravo reality show. And he confirmed the news on his uh, Sirius XM show. And she joined the show in season 14 and held a peach through season 15 and her exit comes I made a cast shakeup ahead of season 16, which also saw Candy and Marlo leaving the franchise. We're bringing Portia back in. I'm not really totally surprised about this because uh, even when we spoke to her at BravoCon, she didn't seem to think that maybe she would be back. I kind of got that vibe. She just welcomed her second child, so maybe she's kind of nesting at home. And like we said, we Atlanta needed a cast shakeup. I think there's going to be a lot more announcements when it comes to that show, but not totally surprised. Speaking of Atlanta, Nene Leakes slammed Portia for allegedly refusing to work with her on the set of Netflix's The Upshaws. Oh, love Nini always stir in the pot. So in a series of posts shared via Instagram story, Nini shared that her management company had approached her with an offer from the Upshaws saying that the series was interested in casting her for a part in an episode directed by Kim Fields. Nina said they told me that Portia Williams was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. I was excited. I hadn't seen Portia. We always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was like, me and Portia are going to kill this part. Well, when she landed in Los Angeles and went to the Upshaw set expecting to see Portia at the show's rehearsal, but Portia was the no show. Nini said Portia never came. Production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be recasting the other position. Nini said she told production that she had no issues with any housewives but Portia's role eventually went to Cynthia Bailey instead. You know, I love some off-screen drama and it seems like maybe Portia just um, still not feeling needy. I'd love to get Portia's take on this and hopefully she responds. All right, well, Dr. Nicole Mar Martin and her fiance Anthony are currently awaiting the birth of their second child. But in the meantime, they shared that their daughter will be named Genevieve Nicole. I love that. The couple was inspired to choose Genevieve largely because of the name's connection to the one they gave their son when he was born in 2019. They told Bravo, we love the name we chose for our son, Grayson Anthony. It's strong and not heard too often. They added, we wanted to stick to something that wasn't too common, matched Grayson and started with a G. We ultimately decided on Genesis.
Genevieve Nicole. I love that she um, just had her baby shower uh, recently, which was attended by some of the ladies of Miami, including Gertie, who put the entire um, the entire day together and she just looked so beautiful so excited for her um, like we said welcoming her second child soon and so I think it will be really great all right well that is it for this week's episode of getting real with the housewives let me know again if you think Kyle should be back next season um, what you think of Larsa and Marcus's split and um, if you were surprised that Sonia will not be back for Atlanta all right well that is it for this week's episode of getting real with the housewives keep commenting keep subscribing and we'll see you next week